From Bonza 2 Studios in Atlanta, Georgia, this is the Suds and Buds Podcast, featuring stand-up comic Mike Spienberg and musician-producer Brian Stevens. This week's episode is brought to you by the new Pizza and Corn DVD featuring Mike Spienberg, an hour's worth of great stand-up comedy. Pick up your copy today for only $5 at pizzaandcorn.com. Suds and Buds is also brought to you by Amazon.com, Musician's Friend, and Best Buy. Make all your purchases online and pick up your items at any local Best Buy within 45 minutes. Unbeatable prices, more convenience, that's Best Buy. Hey everybody and welcome to episode 33 of Suds and Buds. Try into each race. Wow. I'm speechless. I have to get my composure. Wait a second. My kid, my <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to episode 33 of uh you going to do it again? Try and teach race. Oh, nice. Nice. Again. <laughs> Of Suds and Buds. This obviously is not my usual sidekick. Uh, this is some kid who doesn't have a job and who can't drive that lives in my house. This is my son, <laughs> Bailey. Steven. No, no, you kidnapped me off the streets. <laughs> and uh, at this point, this is where you introduce me. Have you, have you not have you not even seen this? I hope you haven't seen this you show. You don't let me watch it. <laughs> you let me watch the one episode with Scotty in it. That was yeah. it. I, I hope you don't watch this show to be honest, or listen to the show honestly. But go go ahead. Nick G- does. Give me give me an introduction. How would you if you could introduce me? How would you introduce me? Um, this is my dad that's forcing me to do this with him. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, you're not winning any uh, you're not winning any contest there with that one, buddy. Give it another shot. How would you how would you how would you introduce moi? This guy, this guy right here, my dad. Great, he's a great drummer. He's a great dad. Basically, any great thing I can say about you. About that. But put, it in the, put it in the short version. Yeah, put it, or you're it not, you're save not, a lot of time. You're not trying to get out of um, mowing the grass tomorrow, are you? No. <laughs> any, anything great I can say about this loser over here that doesn't let me do anything I want to do, uh, that's exactly what uh, I want to say about him. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm Brian Stevens, obviously. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Mike... Uh, Mike's taking care of his his wife this week. Amy, we're so sorry you're sick, sweetheart. Hope you get better. And uh, so because we're um, trying out some new equipment that I'm borrowing, you do know that uh, my truck got broken into a couple of weeks ago, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Very precious items were stolen. Yes, precious items were stolen. Um, I had just come back from from doing some audio and video work, so I had a whole bunch of audio and video equipment that were in my truck, and they got stolen. And so the police now, were no help. The police were absolutely no help, and maybe we'll talk about that on yeah. this show. Uh, so I have a wonderful friend who actually helped us to sh- he helped us shoot episode nine, the live version of Suds and Buds, John Thurman of Occasions. And um, he loaned me a few cameras, and so we're trying them out so that I can learn how to use them so that we can shoot more of this stuff. And some I've, of the other I've had experience with them before. You have? Nick, Nick has a camera either like that or similar. And Nick is who? For the, for the people Nick, I know who Nick is. Nick, you don't know who Nick yeah. is. My friend Nick, Nick is. My friend Nick Stanowitz, we, we also do right, videos. End, end, of, end of the mic. All right, okay. This is where I teach okay. you great mic technique. <laughs> no matter what happens, no matter where your face goes, no matter if you're here a little further back or a little closer in or over to the side, your mouth always... You see that circle? Look at that circle right there. Just kind of pivot. Can you, yeah. Can you look at that circle right there? Look mm-hmm. at that circle. You see that circle? Mm-hmm. That's where your mouth's going to stay. Okay. This I have a, a great story this, that I could tell you, but I'm not going to tell you. This is a new experience for me. Is this completely new and different yes. for you? Mm-hmm. So... 
I, I bet you some of the I bet you a troll on YouTube is going to put this on epicfail.com because <laughs> this this is how terrible I am at this. Uh, I, he just said a whole bunch of words that I have no idea what he just said. But whatever he said, yeah, epic fails and trolls. And <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> Did I mention he has the kind of Tourette's where you just say really large words? I'm for, multicultural. <laughs> for no reason. All right. So, uh, obviously, be, because Mike is not here today, we can't drink beer together. We can introduce beer soaps that you have right there. Well, we could do that. That's about it. That's and about we it. will do that. That's about we'll, it. Uh, I have an idea. What? I happen to know something that you really like a lot. What is that? It's a different kind of beer. Okay. And uh, so what we're going to do this week, since Bailey is my very special guest, we're going to do exotic root beers. Because I happen to know, I pay attention as your father, I happen to know that you like root beer. You go beyond just liking root beer. I would dare say you love root beer, right? Could be my favorite soft drink besides coca-cola okay we need a coke plug uh let's see coca-cola is number one by the, the way is to start this wonderful program off uh we're gonna start with of all things dad's old-fashioned root beer mm-hmm. since 1937 mm-hmm. this has been dad's oh do you know anything about this bailey can you tell me anything about this uh, the old original bottling plant was in uh, Chicago, Illinois. Okay. They uh, not only make root beer, they all... This is actually the 75th uh, anniversary of it. Of Dad's root beer? Mm-hmm. And they have... Uh, they actually have vintage cans. You can actually go to their website. Hey, you're right. 1937. Dang. Mm-hmm. You, do, you, you do good arithmetics. They also make good... Uh, my uh, my mom is, mom's tried them. The, yeah. the candy. They also make good candy root beer. They, well, candy, is it root beer candies. Root beer, root beer flavored. for flavored candy? Yes, and it's, it's, a, it's like a barrel. It's like a barrel of root beer. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So, uh, so we're going to try this. And, and i got to be honest with you. I, I really am not a fan of root beer. To be well, honest. I've had it before. I've had... I've had You've probably had all of these. I've had, no, I've had two of the three that we're doing. Okay. Um, so, if, this is kind of a root beer discovery podcast all of a sudden. Um, so, this is a... This is that... There you go. Are you afraid to move now? Has the whole the whole keep your mouth right in the circle talk has that gotten you a little afraid of moving at this point? Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, so Dad's uh, old fashioned root beer, right? Wow. Mm-hmm. That's got a lot of sugar in it. Yeah. Now I know why. You, now I know why you like that. That's a. Because I don't drink sugary sodas, I I drink uh, diet sodas, and it's, it's probably I, I when I have to stop drinking uh, sugary uh, yeah. diet sodas here pretty soon because it's it's giving me it's not giving me the gout, it's causing my gout to flare up. Mm-hmm. C- c- tell us about being the root beer connoisseur. Uh, tell me about the taste of this. What does it taste like for people who haven't had this? Because um, if this were a beer podcast, we'd actually tell people what this stuff tastes like. It's got tastes like it has a little bit of spice to it. Mm-hmm. A little spicy. Mm-hmm. It's very sweet. Okay. Yeah. And it, there's not a lot of I don't know. There's not a lot of fizz to it. Mm-hmm. I don't taste a lot of fizz. Do you taste mm-hmm. a lot of fizz? Not really. Not a it's whole not lot. real fizzy. It's Personal, not... Personally, I like Japanese soda. It's not very sweet. It's not very sweet at all. No, it's, it's got the fizz, but it doesn't, it's not very sweet. Okay. Like I I can I sometimes I I can't drink I can't drink club soda I I just can't do the fizzy without the taste I just I just can't do it it's kind of bitter isn't it yeah yeah but, but sometimes almost, like when I don't want a super sweet drink I just go for the Japanese uh, soda I it's think, in between I think with the the, the those got, sodas that don't have very much taste to them I think you're supposed to put the taste in there and it's the kind of taste that you won't be able to have for a while mm-hmm. I think, you know like you know brown Japanese liquor Japanese are very unique well. <laughs> I just think they like to put liquor in their uh, club soda. That's mm. all. But uh, no, this is good. I mean, as far as if I were going to drink a root beer, this is a lot better. Like barks and stuff is what I've normally had when I've had root beer before. Also Coca-Cola product. Oh, wow. Look at you just throwing out. While we're throwing out plugs. While we're throwing out plugs. Mm-hmm. One of the other things that we fail to do very well on this show, mm-hmm. but you'll help me by doing things like that, is um, 
sponsors mm-hmm. because it costs money to put this stuff on the internet, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. It doesn't cost money for you to run around the neighborhood with your friends in one of those video cameras but uh, and, and put it on YouTube. But for us to do what we do and get it out to these wonderful people that are right out there on the other side of this microphone, the other side of that camera, wave to the people. Wave to the people. That's where they're at. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Wave to the people. No. I'm trying to see you with my <laughs> magic eye. <laughs> Um, anyway, so if people like the show, what they can do is they can uh, visit some of our sponsors. And one of our biggest sponsors and one of the ones that really helps us out a lot is Amazon.com. But do you know what people have to do to be able to help us? What is that? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> that is, this, was... is this the part where I get to ask you questions? No, no, you don't ask me questions yet. I, I got plenty of questions for you, though. Uh, no, what you do is you go to Suds and Buds. avoid them thusly. Yes. Um, so what you do is you go to sudsandbuds.net, mm-hmm. and you can click any of the banner links or the chiclet ads that are on our website that go directly to Amazon.com. Everything that you buy at that point on, we get a little piece of that. It kind of wets our beak a little bit and uh, helps to defray the cost of putting on this little puppet show that we do uh, every few weeks. And um, you could also go to sudsandbuds.net slash Amazon. You said this is a puppet show, but where are my strings? <laughs> oh, believe me. The strings I magic, have on you is are... Is there a magic controller up there? They're <laughs> deeply embedded in your psyche. It will take decades of therapy to get those strings out. And every adult, every parent just laughed at that. You have no idea what I just said. And you won't for about another 20 years. You're 14 years old. So you said something about firsts and firsts of doing things. What did we do last night that you'd never done before? Watch the rated R movie. Well, yeah, you watched the rated R movie. Technically, so, yes. You, you. There were a couple of points when my mom said, "Go upstairs." I said, "Okay," but I came back down with my awesome chair. Your awesome chair that yes. you bought from somebody that was moving out of the neighborhood. Yeah, very good friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, so I let you watch. I needed a diversion, so we watched Shooter on uh, Amazon Prime. Speaking of Amazon. Uh, As an Amazon Prime member, we get some free movies, and that was one of the free movies that we got, and it was a rated R movie, and I did a little bit of research to know that it wasn't rated R because of, you know, boobies and, um... (laughs) Why is it that every time you and mom says that, or, like, any word that's that's in between a cuss word and an inappropriate word, it's always funny? (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. We're trying to be descriptive, yet not textbook and i think that's what makes it funny is that what makes it funny i do believe so you do believe so uh (laughs) so uh on amazon we watched shooter the mark Wahlberg flick which is basically about a a guy who's a a trained assassin Mm -hmm. you know governmentally trained assassin and uh i don't watch any movie but like that yeah and the reason it was radar was because there was a lot of violence right he shot a lot of people he killed a lot of people not just shooting them there was Mm -hmm. knives and explosions and if it would have been a pet style, you would have watched the fur fly. <laughs> <Can I? laughs> Gee whiz. He's my kid, y'all. Bad jokes and all. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> so anyway. I told you before we started this that I can always make a pun. I will always try to make a pun. You always try and make a pun. If you see me on the street, do try your best to do nothing that will trigger that. Okay. I'll remember that. Well, you've already met me on the street, so <laughs> you can't say that. So, um, how did how did that feel for you? Why, one, number one, watching a rated R movie with your dad sitting there. Mm-hmm. How, how did it feel? This one I'm going to answer. Okay. <laughs> this one I'm actually going. It was okay. Oh, it Person- was okay. Personally, I'd like to go to the theater and see one with you, not next to me. Right. Like, or you want to take a girl, make out? What do you want to do? No. (laughs) See, here's the thing I was thinking. There's only one point, like all the like people getting shot and head heads blown off and knives to the throat and stuff. Mm -hmm. That really didn't get me nervous. You want to know what got me nervous? The most nervous in watching that movie with you. What? The scene sort of in the middle after uh, she'd sewn him up. He ain't gotten shot. He almost died and all that kind of stuff. And the widow of his partner was, um, they they got kind of close, right? And it looked like for a second they were going to make out. 
<laughs> for people listening, he's putting his fingers in his ears. Uh, so uh, that's the only point that made me uncomfortable because you're 14. I've seen Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, but still, you're 14. I kind of I enjoy you being 14, and so I guess this means I can't go see Abraham Lincoln vi- Vampire Hunter. Oh, well, as long as it's just violence, it's not boobies and stuff. Yeah, it's know. violence. It's before he I was kind of worried. I was it's worried before that- he became the full score and seven years ago, man, he was <laughs> till he died. So um, he wh- turned while, to a robot. While you're uh, while we're continuing to talk, I'm gonna get another root beer out. I finished my glass before you. I know you did, and actually, you can finish a little of that if you'd like. And I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna actually. We're actually filming this kind of at night because just that's how the schedule worked out. And I'm gonna send you to bed with all the sugar in you, and you're probably not gonna sleep for two days. I'm gonna have very energetic dreams. Probably. Um, so and two can of I these tell th- you? And can two I tell of these you? Three, he's used his ring when it was just a twist off. I know, but it's much cooler to open it with the ring, you know. Can I tell you the first rated R movie that I ever saw with my dad? What is that? The first rated R movie I ever you remember can, you seeing. You can just pour the rest of that in my glass. You can okay. just go ahead and do okay. that. Okay. I'll just give you the rest of that. How about that? I probably now, can give you this after, after, good, uh, after good I take one. about three sips of this. The beat is not as sweet. Not quite as sweet. You're right, right, right. It it's a little bit. Yeah. It doesn't have that spice. It's it doesn't smoother. have the spice. It's a smoother sort of. Now, Mr. Um, uh, root beer aficionado, can you tell me anything about a beta root beer that makes it different? Right there on the bottle, it says Louisiana cane sugar. Well, there sugar. you go. It's also bottled and, and brewed in New Orleans. Yeah, so like, yeah, there's, so Louis- there's a little fun fact of your day. <laughs> <laughs> a little fun fact of your day. Put that on. Put that on your. In, put that on your list from my. So we My got carbonated facts. water, cane sugar, caramel color, root beer flavor, and phosphoric acid, which is part of what gives it that little bite. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's it's probably out of all the ones that we're having, you know, there's no caffeine in these. It's just good. You know, the, the cane sugar probably gets you wound up a little bit, but um, there's there's no no really no caffeine in this stuff. And um, the fact that it's pure cane sugar, if you've got to drink sugar, if you've got to drink a sugary soda, I would rather you drink regular uh cane well well okay well i have to take this back because dad's root beer also has a uh, cane sugar in it uh, ding <laughs> ding so uh, i i would rather you drink that than corn syrup you know uh, all of the fructose sugar you know put you in a diabetic coma stuff Difficult words that he doesn't feel like saying right now. Yeah, that you're the one that's supposed to say all the difficult words like. <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> or mitochondria. Or so the the thing that was uh the 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 thing that watching that movie took me right back to was being in the fourth grade. Now see you're fourteen. I was in the fourth grade, which made me, I don't know what, eleven maybe? Not quite. No, okay. Ten. Uh, something like that. Um My dad took me to see Friday the 13th, part three in 3D. Yeah. See, now that's the thing about it now. If you watch it now. And cue the studio audience. Yeah. (laughs) Which we do not have. No. Which is just a room that that used to be your room. And now it's my room. I used to wake up in that little corner over there. Hit my head on the thing. I used to have fun in this room. I used to enjoy afternoons in this room with my friends or by myself and my video games. And now... I'm on the streets begging for food. <laughs> not quite, not quite. Your your room's about half this size, though. It's, uh... It, 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 you know, I'll it's tell all, you one thing that's different about I didn't about put this you episode. in a closet. What? The drinks make you burp now. Yeah. Well, they always make me burp. They just don't make you burp. This usually does. Now, to to my credit, Chug I one did. Of these in less you than a have minute. you have a normal size room though. Mm-hmm. You have the same kind of size room and that yet I had. It's still, just a junkie. Unfortunately, and that's the weird thing about it. It's like the whole reason we took you out of this room was because you had a problem keeping this room organized. And I thought, you know, instead of we took stuff away. 
And, and you kind of understood that, right? At one point when you taped a little area off to the side. <laughs> now you're really going to tell people stuff. Do uh, you realize, as, as much as people think that I live on the internet and that my, my, uh, my life is out He's there. He's in a webs. In, in a webs. Uh, I really, a lot of my personal life is not on the internet. He digital travels. <laughs> uh, but things like that, like taping off part of your room and like, uh, you know, only stuff can go in this part of the room. And it was really just me trying. Do it now. <laughs> I think I did it a little meaner than that, though, right? Do what I say. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I want to give you a chance in front of all these people to do an impression of me. Go ahead. I don't think I can do it without laughing. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll try. All right. Do this for me now. (laughs) Go get my laptop out of the car. (laughs) So, um, it it was all in an attempt to try and, um, give you less stuff to have to take care of and keep organized. Yet I and, still have a room just as junky. And this, at this the might, same time, this, this like moving smaller, you smaller, compact. Right. <laughs> the idea with moving you down there was okay. Well, if taking stuff away doesn't help, then what if we just give you less space, less room to have to lord over, to be responsible for, to have to clean and keep orderly? And we still have problems with it, right? Mm-hmm. So um, we're working on it, though. Now he's gonna shove me in the closet and lock it for a couple of years, <laughs> till I till I dig my way down to the formal living room and just and steal everything in the kitchen. Ah, uh, the truth comes out, doesn't? It? At least you know your fate. <laughs> now I wish I was in that movie Brave. Uh, we're gonna see that with a. Uh, I think we're gonna grab yeah. your mom and go see that in a couple of weeks whenever yeah. it comes out. All right, so it's actually this Friday. We're oh, going to it? see. It's actually out already. So Little the, the thing that. Uh, the thing that made me uncomfortable about that movie that we watched was the the makeout scene that never really happened. It just made me uncomfortable. But I thought about I've seen the, worse stuff on the, YouTube. <laughs> well, probably the the first R movie I saw with my dad. Um, it had its fair share of gore. I mean, it had you know eyeballs coming out at well, you. Ooh, you flinched. Look at you. It had that eyeballs to me. coming out at you. And you don't want to do that to me while I'm on a sugar <sighs> rush. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry if that was fairly loud for you. I'm trying to talk as quiet as possible. So no, 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 no. You don't have to talk quiet at all, at all. So um, there was a fair amount of gore in that movie, but uh, I did you mention an arrow? Yeah, yeah, an arrow shot right at arrow to the knee. You're not helping me with keeping off of tangents at all. And why would I? <laughs> so, there, but there, there is a scene in most every Friday the Thirteenth movie where the teenagers and they're you know like eighteen, nineteen, twenty year olds. You know, they're like ju- in the first one where the wheelchair kid took a machete to the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always a it's scene. Kind of funny how his face kind of looked like rubber. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is hilarious. Of like, this is is this cartoon? Is this part cartoon, part live action? Yeah, well, it looks like something from. You've the seen this? Where no, have you seen this? We saw that documentary about. Oh, it. that's right. Yeah, we're watching a documentary about all the Friday the Thirteenth movies. Well, looks the, like something off a of Looney Tunes. In every Friday the Thirteenth movie, there's always the scene where the kids get drunk, and there's always a, a, a couple that get together, and they always kind of, you know, do the <laughs> and uh, and there's always a set of boobies that always pop out on the screen, right? And in 3D, <laughs> it's pretty. Lifelike, at least for 1982. Why do I hear coals right now? <laughs> it's oh, like no. the, si- the sizzling point in the episode where he says stuff that I uh, that I sh- probably shouldn't be hearing. <laughs> this is this is the point in the episode where people sounds go, like a Whoa? he said that. So <laughs> sounds like a pizza cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that oh, that's what that's what my brain was doing while that couple almost made out. And I can only imagine, like, what was my dad thinking when there was a real set of boobs in 3D on the screen, you know? And I'm in fourth grade, 1982. And I can, here's the only thing I can think. I was, try, I was racking my brain today trying to think of this. Only two things came to mind. Number one, um, I hope he was thinking, well, I hope he likes seeing boobies. <laughs> 
I hope. Indubitably. <laughs> and uh, the the other thing was, um, am I a bad dad for letting him see? So, and I, but I wasn't thinking about most likely. <laughs> you think? Should have seen the new one. It was worse. Uh, well, it was worse. So. I, I have special to, effects these days. The blood was even worse. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing. It's like, what's worse as, as a parent? I mean, worse again, a I want you to be 14. movie or a Friday the 13th well, of modern I, times. Well, I want you to be 14, and I want you to be, as much as we push you to be um, mature and responsible, at the same time, part, I think with your mom and I, I think part of us like for you to be a little bit more of like the kid side of 14. Because there's plenty of time to be an adult and see boobies much, much later <laughs> on in your life. I need a moment. <laughs> it's and the third time he said, no, no. I, I think are that's you counting the number seven. of times I've said that word? Yes, I think, yeah, that's the third time in this topic. That's the seventh time in this entire episode, I believe. Mm-hmm. So I'm sorry. It's just the way you say it. It's hilarious. <laughs> what? Boobies? <laughs> Now I know it's say to crack you up. What are you gonna use that to torture me when I have government agency stuff that you want to know? At some point, yeah, that's what I'll do. At some point, you're gonna be you're gonna I'm be junior a, agent at the CIA. <laughs> and and uh, when they when they come and get me to figure out how to get all your secrets, Pistol I'm gonna whip people. <laughs> I'm just gonna say just say boobies. He'll, he'll pretty much tell you anything you want to know. Show him a pair of them, and good lord, I mean, forget about it. Um, <laughs> so the uh, yes, I'm I, mixing my drinks. I just know that when I was 14 years old, um, let's just say I'm trying to find I'm trying to find a way to say this in a in, in a way that's um, that's parental and responsible, but at the same time truthful. And, I, and I'm struggling. So you give me a second. Can you do that? Good. Thank you. Indubitably. <laughs> we got to teach you another word. My, use mitochondria next time. So mitochondria. So. Um, <sighs> Let's just say at 14, uh, emotionally, I was very advanced for 14 years old. Now, physically, I was very, I was very much behind the curve. I was super skinny and, uh, you know, I just hadn't, you know, I just, I looked like a stick. If I turned sideways, you wouldn't see anything, you know, but, um, I I would probably be, I mean, people are going to think I'm a horrible dad for what I'm about to say, um, I had seen a pair of boobies up close by the time I was 14. I'll just say it. I'll just admit it in front of you and everybody else. And um, Good and- Lord, man, what have you done to me? <laughs> but I got to tell you, though, it's one of those things where I pray to God. That's one of those you don't see till you're like 19, 20, 21, 30, you know, much, much further 72. along. 72. And, and I guess in part of the, one of the ways that your mother and I know consciously have tried to raise you is to sort of make certain things not taboo. I think that's part of what was the appeal for me when I was your age because it was very taboo, that kind of thing. was. What like. are we in, Japanese edition now? <laughs> There's that Chinese, I'm sorry. Um, uh, we we ju- just try and make certain things just non-issues. And How much do I tease you about girls? In fact, I, I think I'll do that now for the next few minutes. Um, so is there a particular girl that uh, you, know, you can really be honest with me? You can really, really be honest with me at this point, okay? Is there a particular girl, I don't know, that might live nearby that you happen to like? Do you notice girls at this point? That's your decision on your own. <laughs> You you figure out that on your own, then get back to me on that. Oh, okay, okay. No, really, you can you can really be honest with me. Be honest. Do I want to? I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you're telling me is you've probably noticed girls a little bit at least. Fairly so. Think so. And when you when you think of girls or a particular girl, what sort of thing comes to mind? They're pretty. Know. They're really. She's really pretty. What do you think? What do you think about? Please say not boobies. Please, <laughs> please say not boobies. 
Never, Dad. Not what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you won't say that word because, or you, you, you I'm won't. I'm not saying it in front of you. <laughs> so you you would say it if I weren't sitting here is what you're saying. Maybe. Maybe. That doesn't uh, mean you go and walk out of the room. I'm not getting you. I'm not getting you recording me saying this. <laughs> I'll be right back. Audio Why don't you talk to the camera. fine people and tell them about this girl that you like? There, so there is a girl. I'm not that, mentioning her name. Well, just you, in don't, case she's watching well, this. you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. But I'm I'm just curious as a or father. I mean, people I know, are acquainted with her would also know. Possibly, possibly. So as a father, I mean, I know what I was thinking at 14 when I thought about girls. I'm just kind of curious. What you think, because you're not me, you're different. I mean, there's there's a lot of things about you that are similar, but there's a lot of things about you that are different. You're your own person. And I just, I am curious. Like, when you think about girls, what do you think about? Honestly, I don't really care about, like, lo- them looking pretty, makeup. Really? All that can just go down the toilet. I don't care. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Okay. I'm just I'm praying to God and saying thank you at this point. Keep keep, keep going. <laughs> what you're saying is I don't know. They're not quite on your radar yet. No. Is what you're saying. You notice that they're pretty, whatever that means, and you yeah, know just, that you I, like I, them. Not without they don't like don't I don't think that they should need a whole bunch of makeup and <laughs> and stuff like that. Dude, there are so many girls out there that just went. He is the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my life. You shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, you just, you keep saying that on into your adulthood. <laughs> you just keep telling women, sweetheart, you are pretty. You don't even need makeup to be pretty. No, are, that is not my are, pickup line. You are so I don't beautiful. I not have a pickup line. <laughs> oh, thank God. Don't like, listen to what he says. When I kneel no. in front of my bed tonight, I'm going to say my prayers and I'm going to go. It's my God, giant neon you. sign that says liar. <laughs> Uh, I am though. I'm gonna. I, all right. So tonight, for the first time, I'll get on my knees <laughs> by the side of my bed, and I'll say, "Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you." Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I think I left that thing in the car. <laughs> How about we try another root beer? Uh, t- uh, why don't you tell the people about another one of our sponsors? Do you know anything about musical equipment? Hardly. I, I'm going to say that right now, hardly. So then you're going to suck at telling them about this. Oh, this is a trick bottle. Hang on a second. Yeah. It's uh, a pull out, then up. Right so you here. pull out. Yay, wow. you figured it out. I spilled some, but uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, all right, so uh, you want to you tell the people about this? Yay, you figured out how to open it. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> You're getting way too comfortable in front of this camera, boy. <laughs> All right, so this is um, Bundaberg. Bundaberg. It's kind of like that bottle you had with the beer with you and Mike, the little compact kind of Oh, bottle. yeah, the uh, Red Stripe. The Red yeah, Stripe. Yeah. So you want to tell people yeah. about this particular Bundaberg? It sounds German, but it's not. It's, what, what kind of a... Uh, I can give me that. <laughs> I get for it. That is a weird taste. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. Ooh. What is that? Where's this root beer from? Australia. Australia. Australia, mate. It's got kangaroo sweat in it. Wow. What was that one? Well, I like it. You know, I, I like it. It's got a wang to it. It's got banana flavor. <laughs> tastes tastes like banana to me. Woo! It's fizzier, Ooh. that's for sure. All right, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the. Uh, man, I don't have to get bifocals. All right, um, carbonated water, cane sugar. Let's just root do the short version. Beer it has bre- stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it has delicious stuff in it. So what you're saying is trim the fat, huh? Gee whiz. Who's kid? You're not my kid. Are you sure you're not Spielberg's kid? I can kid? be who I want to be. <laughs> hey, hey, you keep remembering that, kid. It's just not when I tell you what to do. It's a fancy little uh, sarsaparilla there. root, ginger root, molasses. Look at that. Uh, licorice root, vanilla bean, that is the yeast. The weirdest top I've ever seen. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Wear it like a ring. Yeah. It looks like it's the like, ring from like, Spaceballs. 
<laughs> Use the power of the Schwartz. <laughs> the Schwartz. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's it's kind of the bottle cap is kind of made so that you can it's got a little tab that does the release and easy open for people don't who don't yeah. know how to work so, a bottle. I don't know. I, maybe it's the sarsaparilla that's the sarsaparilla root that gives it a little. Burr. Wow, I told you it's fizzy. That's what they use to make root beer. Um, oh, they make uh, they mm. uh, there's licorice root in there. That's it? what it is. I knew that's what the taste is. Is licorice. it the licorice? Yeah. It's got some vanilla Those bean in it. Australians are weird. Uh, ginger root. I think it's I think just I'm that. Ever, whole... I don't think I'm ever going to Outback Steakhouse after I try that. <laughs> but uh, it's. I mean, it's I don't nice. Really know what the steak tastes like? It's different. It tastes like kangaroo sweat. But other than that, it's good. That's what you said about the Jimi Hendrix energy drink. Oh, that's that's another. Uh, we'll have, that's, I'll bring I, you back on to do energy drink. It's good, but I don't think I'm going to finish that. I don't know. I may. You don't like that very much, do you? I don't like licorice. I do not like licorice. It's yeah, it's it's expensive as all get out too, man. It's like ten. Can bucks I say my fun fact? Thing. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Insert, um, insert interesting description here. Okay. <laughs> Bundaber, it's, it's brewery shaped like a barrel. It's you a, didn't prepare that at all, did you? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm my sorry, secrets. I interrupted. I interrupted you. Go my ahead. Secret right here. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what were you saying? I'm sorry. The brewery is actually kind of is actually shaped like a barrel. Really? Yeah. The building mm -hmm. itself is shaped like a barrel. Yes. They also make, as most Australians do, they also make other kinds of sodas. They have ginger beer. Uh huh. I've tried it. It's like ginger ale, but stronger. Yep. It's got a lot more ginger. They do like a grape soda or a strawberry no, no, soda. No, I, I saw something that looked like strawberry. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they do a pineapple soda. I think. I think I saw. I'm a pineapple. gonna give you one of those. Yeah. Uh, you can have an abita. Uh, so, uh, out of the what three, out of the three that pocket. we've we've tasted, which one did you like the best? Can I pick two? Oh uh, yeah. Well, uh, the two other than or other than this one. Well, that, it, it was good. I but can do arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> arithmetics. I can do ath ar ar arithmetics. Again, he doesn't sound like he does. No, arithmetics. Arithmetic. Do it again. So one of the, uh, we'll get back to that. One of the other things about this episode uh, being a, the clean. My we'll call this soap. People will forever call this the clean episode for two reasons. The one. The, the true clean episode. The true clean episode. Because I haven't said a curse word at all. Not even Oh, I almost said it. See, no, I haven't said a curse word at all. And um, your your wonderful um, uh, aunt, my aunt, your, bought him soap. Yeah, <laughs> she was trying to tell me. She was trying to uh, tell me so, let's, without let's telling start it like me. that. My aunt bought him some soap. It was nice. You've been married to my Thank sister you and good night. for fifteen years, and I figured I would tell you now that you stink. So here's some soap. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know, that's basically what I that's said. That's basically what she said. Uh, no, um, I still can't do that. I, I can't do it. What that drink? Yes, I can't do that. Well, just set it to the side. I told okay. you you should have gotten an IBC. It's just really expensive root beer that you're wasting. That's all. I mean, it's not a. Well, it's not that it's not good. It's just that it's not good. <laughs> it's not. That it's not good. Honestly, it tastes like kangaroo sweat. It's wow. it tastes like I, I I can't do licorice. I just can't do licorice. I can I can do red licorice because I I eat Twizzlers That's all not the time. Licorice though. That's not. Ugh. You didn't anyway. drink it all? Of course I did. I paid for it. I have to drink it. That's the whole point. Here you can have my. No, dose. well I, I will. It. I will finish it. Um. So anyway, my sister in law was uh. I can do red licorice. That? I just I just can't do black licorice. <laughs> You're just as good at interrupting me as he me, is. Me, 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 me <laughs> If you added a Twizzler straw, that would have made it so much better. Um, my sister-in-law, where where was this? DeKalb Farmer's Market? You guys found this? I don't know. Anyway, Thank my whole point is... Uh, yeah, that's, that's where we saw the Terrapin. Terrapin, who terrapins. we've had a it's bunch of terrapin. their beer here on the show. Um, terrapin actually makes a soap uh, along with Verde Skin Therapy in Athens, Georgia. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the Terrapin Gold... I've got several of these soaps. Um, Here I used one, so yeah, yeah. Well, I had to use at don't, least don't one. Don't be asking if you can have it. Don't be asking if you can have it. Hardcore fans, he's already <laughs> used it. <laughs> Maybe they want it after I've used it. Do you have, know how many pretty women? That's what I mean. Do you know how many pretty women would love to have that bar of soap after I've had it in the shower? I shouldn't have said that to my fourteen-year-old. That was that's a bad 
Uh, bad, bad parent. <laughs> Numbers are going negative in my head. Just, just, just let you know. <laughs> Man, brutal. <laughs> Neg- negative numbers totally of women do. want that soap. <laughs> All right, so the whole idea with the terrapin soap is that uh, this company actually makes soap with if to zombies. They wouldn't want it because because uh, they, they just hate being clean anyway. with beer in it. Um, the particular one that I what, used today. What, can you get drunk by bathing? Uh, you know what? I tried to taste it, and it really didn't taste all that good. It was a. Uh, of course, yeah. it's not going to taste like beer. <laughs> What's well? well I, you would think though. Uh, it's got uh, it's got rice bran Isn't oil. Isn't that the assumption of all of America these days? Terrapin beer, <laughs> coconut <laughs> oil, olive Anything oil. Anything that sounds like a uh, product. Palm kernel Maybe. oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, and all that would sound like you could eat this, right? More or less. Oh yeah. Um, and there it is. Ah, it's very fizzy. Uh, the thing that really made it taste bad was the uh, the sodium hydroxide. Do you know what sodium hydroxide is? No. That is lye. Wait, so- that is what makes soap soap. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Sodium hydroxide. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be your next big word that you say. Um, so you open this. I don't want to break my finger. <laughs> Yeah. Or spill it. There you go. So, really? <laughs> that, that, well, isn't that just a punch in the pants? <laughs> so, Why um, didn't I think of that? So there's actually three of these uh, these soaps. Uh, the one I tried was the India Brown Beer Soap. Um, then they've got their Golden Ale Beer Soap. And uh, the Sunray Wheat, which um, I would hope that maybe they'd put a little lemon in it since it was a uh, – or a little orange, some kind of citrus in it. But they don't. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> – it's basically, honestly, Bailey, I think it's the exact same soap with three different labels on it. Um, oh, I, you can't tell because there's not any soap in there, but that's... Anyway, so my point is this. As a soap, it's very good soap. Um, for cleaning... As a, as a beer, it doesn't work too good. No, no, no. no. It tastes horrible. Uh, I, I wouldn't drink a, a, a melted cup of this stuff at all. Um, <laughs> it doesn't smell like a whole bunch. And and really, when you look at the the ingredients... Other than the shea butter and the cocoa butter, maybe the, some of the olive. Even have, it doesn't even have beer in the ingredients. Well, it does. No. See, you're not even listening. Terrapin beer right there. Well, I stand corrected. Okay, there you go. So uh, it doesn't really – most soaps that you buy, commercial soaps, are very perfumey. That's how they make you think that they're cleaning you, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. The The perfume has nothing to Look do with the cleaning. Look up your facts, America. <laughs> You ain't as smart as you think you are. Yeah, and the fact that you used ain't in that sentence probably just, yeah, never mind. I plan anyway. to do that. <laughs> so, okay. I'm a mastermind of epic proportions. Okay. <laughs> and people wonder uh, if ego's genetic. Oh, my God, it probably is. Uh, so uh, the, the thing about this soap is it is great soap. It doesn't smell like anything. It lathers up really well, uh, but it doesn't smell very perfumey. It can't for, get you drunk either. <laughs> and it can't get you drunk either, uh, which is probably a good thing, especially if you're in the shower. You know, It's a little slippery, uh, especially if you drop. The soap and have to pick it up. And anyway, there's a joke there that I can't tell. I already know that joke. So, <laughs> so don't, anyway, don't don't even don't even think so I don't the, know the that. The terrapin know soaps. Uh, if you want to look those up online, uh, VerdeSkinTherapy.com. Uh, they're actually made in Athens, and uh, I like them. I, I really dig the soap. So this forever will be called the clean episode because we've had nothing. I'm going to ruin we it. We have though. soap. We have soap. That 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 proves it that it's the clean episode. We have soap in this. So, but I I do have to ruin it though. You still you clean? Can... Still have soap in it? <laughs> still considered clean? Um, I, is that Pepto Bismol? It looks kind of like it, doesn't it? Uh, looks like it looks I, like I a bottle out, full of bubble gum. For the people that are listening and not watching, I've pulled out one more bottle. And this is a bottle you will not be able I only have one glass and one bottle left because you cannot partake of this particular one. But uh, as part of my hyper vigilance. Yet it has two of my favorite kinds of things in there. So let me tell people this would not be a suds and buds if I didn't drink some kind of beer that costs a lot of money. And well, root beer uh, has suds. Technically, it's fizz, but still suds. Yeah, it's not beer, though. It's not beer. It doesn't have to be beer. It's root beer, but it's not beer. Um, I found this as I was it's walking. It's got beer in the name. As I was walking out of World Market. Man, that's some fizzy soda, dude. 
I was walking out of World Market from buying these other. Uh, of course, it is soda. And I I came across the the rogues what they call their voodoo donut, and uh, between the Pepto Pepto Bismol color of the bottle and this uh, guy who looks kind of weird like a voodoo dude on the front and voodoo donut. Get off my candy maple pork farm. Uh, exactly. I'm drinking beer here. So this is uh, their I have a what they call a, like a gun. bacon maple ale. So after I picked up That's the bottle. That's another punch in the pants that I hate. And I read the label I thought there's no way I'm getting out of this store Without buying that. Without a $13 bottle of bacon maple ale. So I've been reading ingredients the entire... He's not going to save any of that for Mike. I'm just, I'm no, just giving you a heads up no, now. No. So there's 13 ingredients here in this... Here in this beer, we put 13 <laughs> ingredients. That's part of the voodoo of the donut is the 13 ingredients. That's why you should never trust... Louisianians. All right, so uh, we've got breeze cherry I'll wood, for drinking a smoked beer, malt root beer. We've got uh, that's a good thing we pan this thing left and right because they can listen to you all day long, and then I can get my beer people over here on this side. The Wireman Beechwood smoked malt, and we also have a house smoked hickory malt. Yum. Plenty of malt. Uh, and they got a bunch of other malts. The thing that I Multi-malt love malt. about this label that I'm looking at right now is that I see applewood smoked bacon, pure maple flavoring. That mm. sounds like some that that, maple that entire beer looks like sounds like something and looks like something they put in Epic Meal Time. Yeah, I think they did once. And then uh, we use got Jack a bunch Daniels of hops, and then they, they use coastal water. And uh, so anyway, um, you know because they're yeah. So I, I'm gonna try. Have to drink a beer. I haven't had a beer in about three days. Dun 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 dun. Oh my dun. god! All right, now don't drink it, but smell that. Just just put your nose to it. <laughs> Ooh, it does smell like maple. You smell it. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, he's gonna pour that on his pancakes on Saturday morning. Dude, I think you just found a new. Put it in the batter. What have I done? Put it in the batter. What? That would be the thing to do. What in the heavenly father's name have I done? <laughs> mm. I'm I'm supposed to be the one it's that makes like that. It's like maple incense yeah. in my nose. It's all. Awesome. I'm I'm supposed to be the one who makes crazy food concoctions that taste delicious in the house. Mm. Oh my god, dude. Okay, as a beer, I don't know if I like it. it. As a breakfast food, that's amazing. Although the aftertaste tastes like incense. Okay, I'm not a fan of the aftertaste. But the bacon and the maple and the other stuff that's in there, good the beech wood, the hickory, good lord. Like I can taste every bit of that. It like and that's the thing that I love. I will tell you this. The thing I love about great beer. Great beer that's complex. After when you drink it, it has a t- it has a taste even before it, it hits your lips, like that maple. Boom! Immediately before I even drank that beer, I tasted the maple. It hadn't even hit my lips yet. So as I'm drinking it, there's a whole palette of of taste, and then like even like 30 seconds afterwards, there's all these other tastes that open up, and that's awesome beer. Um, it wouldn't be the kind of beer that I would drink every single day, but it definitely is a great special occasion beer. Um, I don't know where the donuts part of the Voodoo Donuts comes from, but um, there's I, a donut on the back of the label. Yeah, there's a donut on the back of the label. Um, Oddly enough, there's no bacon. Mm. There's, well, there's pork. Oh, there's a pig. There's but a pig. there's no bacon. You got to have red strips on there. Oh. <laughs> This is a shirt that Can that I share says something with you, son? We've talked about boobies. Can we talk about where bacon... And we're back on this <laughs> subject. Can we talk about where bacon comes from? <laughs> you have to bring up this now. While I'm in the highlight of my years when I actually love bacon. When I don't become a vegan. When I decide to become a vegan later in my life because I decide to go on a celestial journey to become a hippie. <laughs> Let's hope not. I hope that I hope that given the the amount of rock and roll lifestyle that you've seen, you're in your fourteen. That'd years, be one heck of a Molotov. 
You know, yeah, definitely. The the amount of rock and roll lifestyle good, that you've seen uh, in your 14 years on this planet uh, through your father and through eh, your mother to a certain degree, but definitely through your father. I, I hope that you end up becoming an accountant or a doctor or a lawyer or something that, um, I don't know, people would call those legitimate. Can I get my comedy lovers over on this side say, boo, <laughs> <laughs> boo, thumbs down. It's the worst job. This is the worst job suggestion you could have given me. Really? Yes. You don't want to go into entertainment business, do you? I want to go into animation and stuff like that. Animation? Yeah. What do you? Any anything that? Yeah, I want to go into some sort of thing that has to do with that. Like what? That's sort why I'm of, going to SCAD. Is that where you want to go to school? I want to go to SCAD. What uh, sort of animation do you like? What do you prefer? Flash. Okay, but like. Is there a style of animation? You know, like anime is a style. Anime is Japanese, for those of you who don't know what that is. And the guy who draws God, Charlie Brown. I can Brown. smell that on your breath now. <laughs> <laughs> that's not great, is it? Um, it, it? That's the other thing about beer is beer is only great if the other people around you are drinking beer because it does kind of stink. After you burp about four or five times, it's kind of nasty. Can you turn over that way, please? <laughs> Circle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, Charles Schultz and and Peanuts is a style of animation. Um, is there a particular style of animation that you really really like? I don't know what to call it. I, I don't know exactly. Just the what, regular. What is, what is it? Like a show. Well, it's the kind that Ed's World does. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just like the full-bodied person, but mm-hmm. not really a whole lot of detail like anime is. Right. It, so, it, and so I kind of Ed always kind of keeps the same outfit. And it's kind of punk rock looking. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's it's not like a photograph or it's not like Avatar kind of animation mm-hmm. and stuff. It's it's sort of punk or rock soul indie. Eater. Yeah, it's like indie I could, indie I could rock cartoon all day about it. Could you? Well, we'll have to turn that into a podcast because this is about beer. Or root beer today. <laughs> so, if I would start right now, all he hear was nom, 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 nom. pretty much, pretty much. Yes. So, uh, there's a ton of other things that we could talk about, and uh, oh, uh, our last couple of uh, sponsors, the one that we glossed over, musiciansfriend.com. Uh, don't tell your mother, but I, uh, over the past year, I bought a lot of uh, equipment for the studio. Um, and she's wondering where she's wondering where the money has gone. Yeah, I know. She wonders why we're broke. No, we're not broke. I'm trying to figure something out. Give me a second. Uh, how do I do an arrow with hands? <laughs> that I'll have to do. That's all I have to do. I can't do the little thing, but okay. no, no, seriously. Well, you know, one of the reasons going why the, I'm able going to for the dogs, other than making making decent money at this, uh, one of the reasons why I can buy equipment and us not be broke, musiciansfriend.com. How's that for a plug, dude? So, um, with musicians. <laughs> Musician's friend, you can get some of the best prices on any kind of equipment, musical equipment that you may want, recording equipment you may want, whether it's microphones, guitars, drums, uh, kazoos, anything you might want. Yeah, you just just let, me do, just let me do the spot, man. Just let me get to the spot. Ca- just plow really? through the end. Just plow Ca- through the end. Get to the spot. Get in the spot. Do they the sell spot. air horns, too? Uh, I got a air horn for you. You want to hear it? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> get me out of here. <laughs> so... Uh, anyway, and if you, uh, at any given time, we don't have a particular one this week, but, uh, at any given time, you can always find great specials on a musician friend. And usually there's some kind of a coupon code that you can, uh, enter that gets you anywhere from 10 to 15% off. So if you would go to uh, sudsandbuds.net slash music and go right over to musicianfriend.com, feel free to buy anything and everything that your heart desires. And, uh, man, I tell you what. I'm glad that was a non-alcoholic beverage, my friend. Wow. It's the exact same music that you Come did on. with Mike. <coughs> Come on, give me one. No. Nope. Give me Wait. one. Come on. Give me one. You can do it. Uh, nice. Uh, nice. Uh, All right. Nice. I did one that lasted two minutes one time. Very good. Very good. So, uh, I got that from, from him. Dying. Yes. And uh, the other place that we bought some stuff from, I had to buy a Blu-ray player for my bedroom the other day, and I yeah, went... he he had to air quotes, <laughs> insert air quotes of you if you're not. Watching, I needed to. I needed to get a Blu-ray player. 
uh, a, a media player for my bedroom that would play Blu-rays and uh, DVDs and also stream Amazon Prime movies or just Amazon rented movies and Netflix and Pandora, a little boom, chicka, wow, wow music through uh, Pandora. And uh, <laughs> he's got that look. Um, Indubitably. So uh, the other thing I did is I went to a sudsandbuds.net slash Best Buy. And uh, not only did I get uh, a great price on uh, one of these Blu-ray slash media players. It's always a great price. It's always a great always price. Always a great price. I was able to go pick up and pick it up in 45 minutes. So within an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, an hour and 10 minutes. I had uh, that Blu-ray player installed in my bedroom and I was watching... Uh, <coughs> Counting Crows. I was going to say something really exciting, but then I realized my 14 year old was sitting next to me. So, Counting Crows. <laughs> there, say it. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry. Uh, People versus Larry Flint. But uh, anyway, so. Um, that's all of our that's all of our sponsors. We need to make sure that we tell people to like us on Facebook. You never asked me any questions. I've asked you a ton of questions. None that I can avoid. <laughs> I want to avoid some questions. I, you want to avoid some questions? Uh, I don't want to know the answers to questions I would ask you that you would want to avoid. So we don't have to ask. Him. I'll have to have you back some other time because there's a lot of things I want to talk about. I'd love to talk about bullying. You know the the bus uh, bus monitor that got bullied. I would love to talk about that. I want to go. I, I want to go pistol whip the guys that did that. <laughs> I would love to talk about uh, no, no, driving no, class. No, no chain gun whip. That oh, would that go. that'd be good. That'd be good. He's got a violent streak in him, folks. I don't know where he gets that from. It's obviously from his mother. <laughs> uh, I would love to talk about driving class because you took driving class this past week. We're getting you ready for your learner's permit and stuff. We'll have you back on the show at some point, and we'll talk about those They've things. told me multiple but times. I think it scares them. <laughs> I think that we've talked a lot, and unfortunately, my screen, uh, my screen went blank over there, so I can't see what our time is. Uh, hopefully, we went uh, you know long enough for people to... Uh, still be interested, but not so long that they checked out on us. And um, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I, I, I know what you want. I'm gonna no, give you the chance. I'm, I'm trying to imitate the people. I'm trying to imitate the people watching. That oh yeah, checked yeah. out. I do it every week. I mean, you being here doesn't really make any difference. Wake like. up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give Get you a chance. I'm gonna give you a shot. Man. Is there any question that you wish you could ask me, your father? Awkward pause. <laughs> give, give me a sec. Okay. There's a bunch of questions I want to ask you, but I don't think if I should do it. Go ahead. Okay. I don't know how to, I don't exactly know how to put them. Go ahead. Why does your breath always smell like pineapple whenever you yell at me, I guess? <laughs> exactly what i thought you would ask but uh you know uh, maybe it's the gum why do you I chew. say why do you what do you what do you always say no <laughs> because that's my job as a parent i i tell you what we'll, here's what we'll do we'll wrap I up i don't think you get paid for it <laughs> if you, you got paid me. for it you would be wrecking uh, in the millions believe, believe me man i tell you what oh she was yeah if if parenting were only a paid job oh my goodness all right so Here's the then thing. we all would be un impoverished. All right, so I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me for this amount of time, however long it's been. I thank you for hanging out and drinking some great root beers. I'm gonna have to change my mind about root beers. Dad's root beer, I actually really like. I like a lot. that spice as. They also, really you know, they good. also have cream sodas. They also have a couple. You know of what? <laughs> um, the cream soda will probably be exactly what I would like. Yeah, they actually have a couple of different flavors. They have a blue one, a red one. Those aren't flavors, son. Those are colors. No, no, they have they've got a different kind of flavor cream cream. So there's orange cream, uh, and red cream and blue cream. <laughs> blue. Back to the colors. He's trying to troll me. Why? Why are you trying to troll me right now? Sorry about that. Oh, don't do that. What? So, um, so anyway, here here's my thing. 
Um, why do I always say no? Um, my job as your parent is to try and help you learn to make very good decisions because I would, um, I would, it would be less than honest of me to tell you that I haven't made my fair share of bad decisions in my life. My hope, honestly, I don't even want to hear how many you've made. Oh, good Lord. Dude, we'd have to. Oh, you know, we'd be here for a long time. I don't want to. I, I I know how many Scotty's made. It's more than yours. Uh, you know, well, so many uh, more. Scotty hasn't made big. Big bad ones, though. So my thing is, I would rather you live vicariously through my bad decision than make them yourself. So as is age appropriate, I want to be honest with you about things that, I, that I've done in my life and decisions I've made and places I've gone and things I've seen, which is why I tell you about seeing boobies. And I, <laughs> I got you again. And uh, my hope is that um, you won't make the same mistakes that I make, that that I have made. I think this is the part where people are starting to check out. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Man, gee whiz, what is it with you and these people that I put in that chair and me being serious? You will not let me do it. <laughs> um. I would rather you make a whole lot of your own mistakes than repeat anything that I've ever done. So my hope is that it, as much of the truth as I can share with you, as is age appropriate, and as you get older, of course, I'll be more and more honest about things, that you will make a different set of really bad decisions. <laughs> and I hope hopefully, that, hopefully less. I, hopefully less and hopefully really small. Like, I shouldn't have spent all that money on... A, Drugs. <laughs> No, 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 a video game. <laughs> no. A video game involving drugs. <laughs> okay, as long as it's just a video game involving drugs. There, um, there are plenty of those out on the market these days. <laughs> my, my hope is that you'll make a whole lot of decisions, and some of them will be bad, and I'll just tell you, they're, you're going to make some bad ones, but th there'll be small bad decisions. There'll be things like getting a credit card and running it up only to about $2,000. And not ten thousand. About, yeah, uh, you know things well, like you're calling that a small wait amount. Till, wait, well, you know, depending on who you are, two thousand can be small. Um, you know, bad decisions like you know, you, you know, maybe you should wait till you're thirty to get married. Any of those kind of things. Um, that that's my hope. I want you to make your own mistakes that are different and hopefully much smaller than the ones that your dad made. So I, as much as I can, as it as is age appropriate, I want to be honest with you. And uh, it's cool because this kind of gives us a, an environment to talk about some things and joke around about some things and kind of get some things out there that, you know, maybe after the show we'll talk about uh, with, you know, some degree of seriousness. And um, I'll leave you with this, okay? I used to say that I, I've always said that there was two things I was afraid of. I was afraid of uh, being broke, and I was afraid of failure. Apparently, you're not afraid of those talking. <laughs> I'm not afraid of talking. Well, you're not. Well, you're not afraid. It doesn't look like you are afraid of those things now. No, not at all. Really, I'm not. I'm not. You know. You know. Uh, I've been broke, and I've been not broke at all. Like, really not broke. Like, way, way not broke. Um, You've experienced failure, right? Oh, a lot. Haven't we all? <laughs> Says the 14-year-old. Um, yes, yes. I've, I've experienced my fair share of failure, probably more than most. And so I'm not afraid of either of those at this point in my life, I don't think. You know the two things that I'm afraid of? One, I'm afraid of not trying, that's the first thing I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of putting myself in a position where I don't try, whether it's fear or uncertainty. Um, I have something similar. Yeah. What? Uh, it's not. It's, share not that? it's not that it's not trying. It's. I don't know if I should try or not. Right. I don't I know would, what's going to happen. I, well, and that raises my other point. The other thing that I'm afraid of. 
I'm afraid of dying, well, not dying, but <clears throat> dying, wondering if I did what I was supposed to. And so if you, if you don't do things, if you don't try, then you, and inevitably you get to the end of your life and you do have that nagging f- feeling that I didn't do what I was supposed to. So my, my admonition to you getting out of the show here today is, one, especially when you don't know if you should try, I want you to try, even if you fail, even if you fail miserably. That girl that you like that you don't know how to ask her to go play tennis or uh, if she anonymous won't. name, yes. insert anonymous name yeah, in, here. Insert anonymous. Name. I didn't say her name. I wasn't going to say her name. I'm Please don't. You. I'm not going to say that she just lived. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, even if it's asking her to, if she'd you like to get a popsicle, are. anything, just ask, 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 ask. Regardless of what you think she's going to say, if she's going to reject you, if she's going to accept your offer and your invitation. Even if you don't know how to ask, just ask in whatever awkward way you can so that hopefully you won't get to the end of your life and go, did I miss out on the opportunities to do what I was supposed to? Is that okay? Yeah. Are you checked out on me now? No. I hope not. I hope that seeds in your little brain, your your very big brain, ever-growing brain, brilliant brain. I want to insult my brain. No, no, it's a brilliant brain. I love you your brain. You said little brain. Well, it's little compared to mine. My, my head's kind of big anyway, though. <laughs> Guys, make sure you uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, like us on Facebook, uh, send us some emails to uh, beers at sudsandbuzz.net. And I want to thank my son, Bailey, for uh, stepping out of the shadows and getting in front of the camera, in front of the microphone, and, and joining me today. And, I, you know, if I don't care if this wasn't interesting for a single person out there. This was incredibly interesting for me. It was an enlightening experience. And I appreciate you. I thank you for doing this and hanging out with me. You got uh, anything else to tell the people? I don't know. All right. Well, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Quick, 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 quick. That's the other thing. You got to be quick if you're going to do this. Okay. Gotta be quick. Eat more bran. (laughs) Get more fiber in your diet. SS Boom. Thanks so much, Drink Up. We'll see you again next week. If you want me to do this again, talk to my agent. (laughs) (laughs) If you love the podcast, help support us by clicking the links and ads for our various sponsors. Those are located on the sudsandbuds.net homepage. Once you click those links and visit our sponsors, a portion of everything that you then spend comes directly back to us to help fund the production of this great program. To find Speenberg stand-up shows in your area, just go to speenberg.com for tour dates. And to find everything Brian Stevens, just go to brianstevens.com. And don't forget to visit this week's sponsor, the new Pizza and Corn DVD featuring Mike Speenberg, an hour's worth of great stand-up comedy. Pick up your copy today for only $5 at pizzaandcorn.com. Thanks for listening and watching, and we'll see you next week. All right, so everybody's recording. All right, everybody's going. Is this what you guys normally do before the show? Yep. Yep, this is what we do. Uh, real quick, just uh, give me a quick check, check. Let me make sure we got everything going. Okay. Check, check one, check two. one, two. Hey, everybody, welcome. Check one, two, one, one, two, 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 one, two, five, six, eight, twelve. Hey, everybody. All right. Infinity thousand. Infinity. Infinity. Who who taught you to count, boy? Uh, Your mama teach you to count again. You know she's not good at arithmetics. Sounds like you're not good at arithmetics. (laughs) I got the arithmetics. I'm itching. Oh, as long as we can possibly go until you okay. give up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just get up in the middle. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly.
That's uh, that's kind of what my that's what my usual sidekick does. <laughs> I just can't do this anymore. So, all right, you ready? Okay, I guess. I okay. guess so. All right. So remember, all the people are right out there. All right. I'm right here. All the, all the people are right out there. Okay. You got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want me to do this again? Talk to my agent. Ah. <laughs> 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 and so that's how you close the show.